Welcome back friends to Plumbing with Tim. Today I'm going to take a few moments and we're going to talk about the Type P Delta cartridge, which you find in a lot of the newer Delta tub and shower valves. The Delta Type P cartridge has a lot of similarities as the Moen 1222B cartridge, as in they are both pressure balance cartridges. Let's take just a minute and we'll talk about that. All right, so the Delta Type P cartridge, meaning pressure balance, that means that this cartridge, when installed, needs to have cold and hot water pressure coming into that valve. If not, you're not going to get any kind of pressure. It's a balance. That's why it's called pressure balance. The Moen 1222B is also a pressure balanced cartridge. The difference between this and the Delta is, is if you don't have hot water or cold water, either one's going to work and one isn't going to work. And I'm gonna show you the reason why that happens. Let's take a look back at that Type P Delta cartridge. All right, nice and easy. Take and give that thing a twist counterclockwise, about a quarter turn. Set it down right there. Take a look what's inside. Ah, the age old classic, rubber washers and springs inside of there. That's what stops this thing from dripping or not. So if you ever get one of these Delta tub shower valves and it's dripping, a lot of people want to change the cartridge out. Well, that's $75 for the whole cartridge. I can pull that thing out and I can replace these little washers and springs. That's more like about five bucks. I'm gonna show you something else that makes this a pressure balance cartridge. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pluck those little washers out and springs. That's how easy they are to replace instead of spending the $75. Now this is what makes it a pressure balance. Nice and easily, we're gonna pull that thing apart. See that? This is just a slave end. This is where the real magic happens. Right there, a cylindrical bearing that seats down inside of there. And as the water comes in on the hot and the cold side, when you're mixing the hot and the cold, this little cylindrical bearing will spin and catch in different slots in here to balance that hot and cold out. So it's moving back and forth inside, back and forth and around like that. And that's what the balance is. If I'm not getting pressure in from a hot, that thing is going to stick in one spot just like that. Same as if it were with the cold. That's why a lot of times the hot will end up going out in these cartridges. If you have a chance, these things are removable. If you had an extra one laying around, you could lube this thing up real good and slide it back inside of there. And then just go ahead and take the other end, pop it back together, and then replace your springs and your washers. that back on just like that go to a lot of service calls with people saying i'm not getting a hot enough water out of my shower that's because most of these cartridges doesn't matter what the brand it could be price fister mowing whatever they usually have some sort of a scald guard to protect against getting burned for like seniors as well as small children on this particular Type P Delta pressure balance cartridge, this little plastic spot on the top pulls up and you can spin that counterclockwise until it seats down into place again. See that? Once it's like that, you get full range of your handle, which is causing it so you have more hot water. If you do not adjust this during install, the customer is only gonna get lukewarm water. Don't forget to do this on install. Back to that little cylindrical bearing that I showed you inside of here. Listen, hear that? That right there is very similar to the inside of the 1222 Moen uh, cartridge that we just saw just a moment ago. Works real close to being in the same kind of concept, just a little different setup. They're not the same, but they kind of work off the same concept. Last but not least, on these uh, Delta cartridges, you're gonna see, I don't know if you can see that or not, see that? There's an H, that's for the hot side. You're gonna wanna make sure when you install this and put that in, the H is on the left-hand side to go in. If not, you're not gonna get the cold water in first and it states clearly on the package that it needs to be cold water entering first. And you put this thing in backwards, it's not going to work properly. Very popular call that I go on on a regular basis is I go to people's houses and they say, 
I'm not getting any hot water, especially when it comes to the mowing cartridge. These cartridges are meant to be used. So if you own a large house and got multiple bathrooms in there and you don't use the other showers and stuff, unless you have guests, chances are that little cylindrical bearing is going to freeze up in there and that's what's gonna cause that hot water not to come out. So you have two choices at this point. You pull the cartridge out and you put a new one in or you pull it out and you lube the thing up real good and get that bearing going back and forth again. And then you're good to go. $68, $75 quite a bit of money to be replacing a cartridge. Now, sometimes you don't have a choice and you're gonna to have to replace these, but inside the internals of these cartridges, especially on that Delta, which we're talking about in this video is about, there are replaceable parts that are inside of there. And if you're lucky and you've been doing this long enough and you know what you're doing and watch videos like this, you can be successful at replacing certain parts in these cartridges and pennies on the dollar instead of spending all that kind of money on a new cartridge. That's all the time we got for this one. Thanks so much for hanging out and watching the video. Leave me a comment down below if there's any questions you have further or something I may have left out. Appreciate all the support. And until next time, this has been Plumbing with Tim. Keep plumbing.